Let's do this Libs of TikTok thing. Chaya Reichick did an event at uh, Indiana University and Bryce Green, who is an activist and I guess some of um, his friends decided to attend it or some of the other people he was with, I don't know. But either way, this is incredibly funny because this is just Bryce Green from the back of the room at this pretty sparsely attended talk that Chaya Reichick is doing in Indiana asks her to define wokeness. And I don't know if this is exactly a Bethany Mandel uh, situation, but it's a little bit close where she has some trouble here and um, kind of gets laughed out of the room. Why? It's, uh, it's in our kids' schools. It's on the college campuses. It is in the workforce. Uh, it is in the streets. It's when you go to the store. I mean, like, you can't do anything in peace without this wokeness being shoved down your throat wherever you go. Um, so, do you have a question? Is there something funny? I do. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, how do you define wokeness? Wokeness is the destruction of normalcy and and um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, destruction of normalcy and uh, and then this part is when so, yeah. God, if you're railing against wokeness, have a definition. Learn from Bethany Mandel. Learn it's, from her. But she has... Even, even what she said doesn't make any sense. Normalcy isn't a word. <laughs> it's not a word. Indiana Representative Jim Banks tries to help her out here. This is a separate clip. And then Green follows up with another question that is also devastating. Can I just say, like, why does she get to comment on schools at all? Like, didn't she go to some fundamentalist, like, what are they called, uh, type of school? Like, y uh, you I guess she has kids, right? But what kind of schools do they go to? I don't know. Well, you know, she was also placed you know on the library many, advisory board. You know people board. have kids in this country? I mean, they're not right. talking like about Oklahoma. Schools. Yep. By the Oklahoma superintendent of schools. She's on, an, she's on the an right. advisory board. No, I mean... I legit think that she is dumber than most sixth graders. Oh, yeah. Chai Reichick, you, you watch her with, what was that interview with um, Taylor Lorenz? Like, sh this is a stupid person. Oh, she's uh, dumber than Dave Rubin, and I don't yes, even... No, I, I, legit. By, like, please. many it, factors, if we're just Dave putting... Dave Rubin laps her. <laughs> yes. Like, it, it's a real race to the bottom in online right-wing circles as, like, more and more content creators come out who are, like, just not familiar with, like, the underlying racist ideologies that are like underpinning some of these like talking points like right. i i know what woke means it's like it's like a coded term for to like make fun of like black people yeah. but like i don't think that like she realizes that's what it actually is i mean it's expanded to be making fun of like any you know it's the new sjw term basically to, to you know to make fun of anyone who has like a social justice bent to their politics right. or is trying to make the world better but i don't think that people like her or elon musk are even aware of the fact that it's supposed to just be a coded term for like the n-word or like a well you can't term say that word. right i mean this is well, well you can't let me just, say that I'm try, let me just see because because this guy this representative here this republican uh, indiana representative jim banks tries to save her here and give his definition so let's see if 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 his like oh, he, go, he, yeah. he he helps her out and uh let's see how that goes the destruction of normalcy and and um <laughs> it's anti-Americanism. I'm, I'm sick and tired of... Are those separate things? America isn't worth fighting and dying for. It's a great country. It's the greatest country in the history of the world. I would say that attacks on our American way of life is what is So that, that's broadly, though. Like, you know, Al-Qaeda attacks American lives. Are they woke? Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. In some ways, yeah, we have to hear that. Hold on, hold on. It's really warm. I would say that attacks on our American way of life is what So that that's broadly though, like you know, Al Qaeda attacks American lives. Are they woke? Well, maybe in some ways. Are they a woke terrorist group? Into, into everywhere. Um, it's an and they just move on. They just move on. Oh my God. No, yeah, I mean, so he's, 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 he's woke in some ways. He, we, 
we shouldn't drop the ball on him. This is a sitting uh, uh, politician who's uh, seemingly just as dumb, maybe uh, t- uh, maybe one notch brighter than uh, uh, Chaya Raichik because he could yeah. form a sentence and, and use a real word and not make one up on the spot. <laughs> but um, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. These guys, from the politician to the congressperson to the uh, conservative influencer who built an entire career off of uh, grabbing clips off of TikTok, um, they don't know what it is they're railing against. They don't even care enough about their audience to even look it up after the fact. They've had plenty of time to define woke. This isn't something that just sprung up on them. Or they care enough about their it. career outside of just taking right. money out of bigots' pockets right. to be like, maybe I should have some more of a, a larger foundation for like the entirety of how I make money in terms of just a knowledge base. I don't right. know. I Come also up with think, something. I also think part of it is that they do know what it means and they, they can't yeah. say it. Like, I don't think we should give them the pass. I think they absolutely know what it means. They're trying really hard to redefine it. But I don't think you're giving them the pass, Brandon. But I'm just saying in general, we we should. I think they're they know what it means, but they're trying to redefine it just like they do with DEI and CRT. Um, You know, they've tried this. They've done this. It's just another way for them to say, uh, you know, the N word, basically. Well, um, yeah, no, I just wanted to clarify my previous point because I think, you know, it's different than what it sounded like when it first came out, which is that like right wing media for decades has like specialized in dancing around what they're actually trying to say and like operating and speaking in like dog whistles and coded terms. And we've just gotten, at least in my opinion, so far from like the more intellectual bent of the right wing party speaking in like easy to understand coded terms like getting people to sort of like who have bigoted impulses like this on board. And now the asylums have kind of started running the, uh, I mean, sorry, the inmates have started trying to run the asylum. Right. And, you know, they're so divorced from the core of their own terms and their own ideology. And they're just operating on impulse that they can't define any of this stuff. They know they don't like brown people. They know that they don't like, you know, trans people, but their ability to like articulate what's actually wrong with them is so has become so decayed by like listening to more and more generations of like right wing media that is just like specializes in going like, well, did you know black people commit like this much crime? And then just like leaving it at that because like the context, I mean, well, because the point of that is filled in by the context of their own bigotry that when they leave environments where people are bigots, they have no way to actually articulate what the problem is supposed to be. You know, they just, they'll just say like America's becoming more woke and you go yeah. like, what, what does that mean? Why, why does that matter? And they'll go like, well, uh, I mean, I, you know, I think uh, uh, Don Lemon, uh, the DEI has uh, uh, just destroyed, yeah. uh, uh, you know. Normalcy. Like that. That's what she's, or normalcy. Or, or normalcy. Yeah. Normalcy. Yeah. Yeah. Word. normalcy. Which is ridiculous. They're like she's the, just making shit up. Like they're the audience for this stuff becoming like the advocates for it and like a public like a public forum and they're just not good at explaining to people who don't already have the context of their own internal bigotry why we should care about any of these things. Yeah, because it's just a rallying uh, uh, sort of a flag for bigotry. But you know what's funny is like uh, it, see how you guys think of this definition of uh, wokeness that I remember from about ten years ago. Um, uh, woke is uh, to be woke is to be radically aware and justifiably paranoid. What do people think about that? Justifiably paranoid. I mean, radically I think- aware and justifiably paranoid. That seems like an earlier of like stay woke being more like that. Where like prior to its co-optation is like a pejorative. My sense is that this is not even about is that this definition is not wokeness. It's something separate. Different. Well, what's funny about this is like this is from David Brooks in 2017. Okay. And to be honest, it's like that that if you're trying to be objective about it as like a a a journalist, I think that's actually not a bad effort. But when you want to egg it with like actually want to use this. As as uh, an icon for every, like basically like being anti-black without being explicit about that, then you can't really define it so clearly. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 think, I, I think I think the use of the word paranoid, though. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah, also demeaning, yeah, yeah. Uh, demeaning. And that's why I didn't really. I mean, I've yeah. always just understood it as someone uh, aware to what's going on in terms of like discrimination and and racial prejudice and 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 how uh, 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 marginalized groups, civil rights, are still not. Uh, 
on par with what they should be. I mean, that what you know, woke as in your eyes are open to these facts. Yeah. That, but you know, that's that's how it was originally. It's a threat um, to normalcy. Right. And what I is normalcy? Think- what is normal? Well, let's use the before I start talking like an idiot, like I'm Chai Raichik. <laughs> what is normalcy in American society? I mean, how can you how can you define that outside of just whiteness or? traditional fundamental gender roles i mean that they can't say that but it's like people who are feeling like maybe there's a a more latino people in their hometown want some like kind of amorphous uh trend to justify their own paranoia right like it actually is that so i get wokeness for me just means oh you are Op- your eyes are open to structural inequalities in society and you right. choose to orient your politics based on that. That's basically it. I mean, I, I mean, I mean Matt, to Matt's Matt point. sarcastically said, yeah, but Matt, but I think it's, yeah, what is normalcy uh, to Chaya Reichick, who grew up in an extremely conservative Jewish sect you see her in pants? Brooklyn? Like, what does she, like, what does she know about what's normal or not? Um, she has a very an experience that a very very small percentage of people in this country have. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say there's not a, Oh, sorry, Brandon. But just quickly, I was going to say that you know Matt Bender's original point. Like, it doesn't even really matter what woke used to mean because like right wingers cycle through these different terms like on a seemingly increasingly frequent basis. Like now they're away from woke. I'm surprised they even asked her what woke meant because now they're on to DEI. You know, like that's the new one because eventually like mainstream culture catches up with what they actually mean which is like either the n-word or they want to call like a woman a slut or they want to call like a you know a muslim person a slur and so like it just becomes all-encompassing of right. all of those things and it's amorphous for them because they're not usually in touch with their own like internal bigotry they like want to have some kind of rationale for it like oh i don't like hate you know dei because i'm a racist i hate it because of the devolving standards in the air airline <laughs> industries and like things that don't really make any sense and are like laughable in their face but they'll have a new term next week like it it's an endless game with them of like them trying to find a way to say the n-word 